Now it's time to revisit the two paragraphs we created as placeholders for the data display. The data fetched from the Food Facts API is going to get stored in the Food Fact data variable we created. Now let's bind the first paragraph content property. Under the data and variables category, we can find the Food Fact data variable. From here, we can find all the properties in the data returned by the API. These are available because we set the schema from the API response when configuring the data resource. Let's scroll down and find the product name property. We can also see the preview box being filled with a sample from the API data. After saving, we can see that scanning a product will now pass the barcode to the Food Facts API and the result is rendered in the UI. As a final touch, let's add the calorie information in the UI as well. So let's bind the other paragraph content too. This time we'll find the calorie information under the nutriments key as the property energy kcal 100 grams. Now we can just hit save and see that now we're pulling the product name and the calorie information. However, the calorie information is displayed just as a number and is not very informative to the user. For this, we should do a little bit of text manipulation, for which we'll use the formula editor. Let's open up the binding editor again for the content property. This time, let's choose formula as the binding type. The default formula has been filled in with the data variable followed by a dot notation path to the kcal property. We can modify the output string by typing in calories per 100 grams in quotes before the variable value and then combining the strings with a plus sign. We're almost done, but there's one more thing we can tidy up. Currently, if no product has been scanned, the UI displays calories per 100 grams undefined. It would make more sense to only display the text when there is data in the variable. We can do this by first finding the visible property for the paragraph component under the advanced tab. This property controls if the component is displayed or not. By default, it is set to true. To dynamically control the visibility of the component, we can bind this property to a formula. In the formula, we'll use the ifFormula function, which returns a value based on the existence of the first argument. In the formula, we're testing if there is any data in the data variable, and if there is, we return a true value and otherwise false. Now the UI feels much cleaner. And that's it. Now we can scan various food items. The app sends the barcode to the Open Food Facts API and we get the result displayed in our app. I hope you enjoyed App Programming 101 with AppGyver and see you again soon.